blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It is a good thing to give thanks and praise unto the Lord. What has touched my heart that I want to just share with us this morning? Spirit of the living God, all of you and none of me, O Lord, in this time. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. It's about prayer, and it's about personal prayer, about one-to-one prayer about time alone with God, prayer. Spirit of the living God, as I share your word, O Lord, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, through Christ Jesus. I'm going to share a short one from the book of Exodus, chapter 6, from verse 18 to verse 20. Hallelujah. And then we will pray. Hallelujah. And all the people saw the thunderings and the lightnings and the noise of the trumpets and the mountain smoking. And when these people saw it, they removed and stood afar off. And they said unto Moses, Speak thou with us, and we will hear. But let not God speak with us, lest we die. And Moses said unto the people, Fear not, for God is come to prove you, and that his fear may be before your faces, that he is hated us. Now, looking at this word, is the God decided to come down to the people of Israel in the wilderness as he was giving the Ten Commandments. And he came down in a pillar, in a, in a smoke, smoky pillar. The, the, the darkness, in thick darkness, in a thick dark cloud. And he was speaking to the people. And the people were scared and they said, no, we don't want to, we don't want. To. But this is not the God we serve now. He made an effort to bridge the gap. Because in the Garden of Eden, it was his desire to commune with man. That is why he created man, and he used to come down to commune with Adam and Eve in the quiet of the garden in the evening. Hallelujah. But, because of sin, we were far off from him. And he could no longer come down in that form anymore, because of the, the, the sin that had been committed by Adam. So there became a barrier, and we couldn't commune with him. But this morning is encouraging me to encourage each and every one of us over the prayer line to recognize and to know that when he sent Jesus, it was because he is still seeking communion with us. Most religions of the world are seeking God. They're the ones searching, looking. But God he did not allow us to go seeking, looking. He came down to us through Jesus Christ. He sent Jesus Christ. And because of that, we can have time alone with Him. I want to encourage us today that to commune with God one-on-one -on -one is very important. To have communion with God is very important. It's a special thing to be able to be in our prayer closet and pray unto God and having him answer us. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Our God is a mighty God. Our God is a merciful God. Our God is a magnificent God. He wants communion with us. He wants us to be able to spend time with him, to love him, to fellowship with him. This is something that I always encourage, even over our prayer bulletin in church every Sunday. I put it there as a prayer point. Now just one day a week, just spend one hour just loving God. Just telling God how much He means to you. You will find out that sometimes you end up spending more than one hour. You might spend up to three, four hours. And the time, you, you don't even want to get away from the presence of God after that. So today I just want to encourage us that prayer is indeed a powerful, powerful means, a medium. For us to be able to commune with God. 
and one-to-one -one prayer is very special. It is there that we get a refreshing. It is there that God himself, we can tap and we can hear from him one-on-one -on -one in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So I just want to encourage us today to continue to just trust in God, to continue to just love God, to continue to just serve Him. Today we are going to spend more time in prayer than the Word. Because what has happened yesterday, you know, the, the stabbing of that young man in Peckham. Oh, the enemy is out for blood. We have to be vigilant. We have to be prayerful. We have to continue to stand in the gap and ask God, you know, to speak to us, to show us His heart, so that we know how to pray for our families and our children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So I just want us to come to God this time now and just speak to Him and say, God, more of you and none of us in all that we will listen to concerning your word, oh Papa, when we pray, we pray to you one on one. May you speak to us to show us how to help us to guide not only our own lives, but the members of our family, our children's lives, so that they don't fall into diverse temptations, trials and challenges without the succor and the mercy of God standing on their behalf. We thank and we bless God for this word tonight. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Spirit of the living God, as we are about to get into prayer now this time, we pray, O oh King of kings and Lord of lords, that it will continue, O oh Lord, to be all of you and none of us in our fellowship and communion with you this morning. In Jesus' mighty name. I'm very sorry, but I feel led that we should pray in tongues for a short while before we go into prayer this morning. That we go into battle, we flow in the Holy Ghost for a short while. For those who don't know how to speak in the Holy Ghost, at this time, as I'm praying, you can just be saying, The blood of Jesus, Holy Ghost, fire. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let us pray. We speak in tongues. Satan is confused forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. We bind the devils. We lose God's power in our lives. We speak in tongues, the devils are confused forever and ever. Amen. Rikiri baba kastakata yandara baba. Shokoro boboko sokoro baka yandara baba. Sikiri baba baba. Robo boko soko toko robo koyondo roba baba kayandara baba. Shekere mama ba kaya ndara ba seke seke ni mimi robo boko soko soko robo boko sondo robo baba randa baba ba seke re baba kaya ndara baba shende re mimi ke seke seke ni mimi ke yende re baba ba robo boko soko robo boko sondo robo boko sondo robo bo yende re mimi ke sende re ba kaya ka seke seke ni ba robo boko sondo robo boko yondo robo boko yoko soko yondo robo bo shende re mimi ke seke seke ni baba ba 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 raba ba ka saka saya ndara in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. We want to pray for our children. We want to pray that God will continue to give us divine direction concerning the lives of our children. That our children will not be meat and drink for the enemy. In the name of Jesus, set us free. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you and we bring our children before you, O Lord. We pray, O King of kings and Lord of lords, that, Lord, our children, Lord, O Papa, that they will not become meat and drink for the enemy. That what has happened, Lord, in Peckham, God, it will not happen no more, Heavenly Father, in the lives of our own children, in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for the family of that young man who has lost his life yesterday. We pray that you comfort them this time. Now, God, you will explain yourself to them. You will unfold your majestic glory, your mercy and your grace to them, O Lord, for what has happened to them, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. King of kings and Lord of lords, we, bless, we, we thank and we bless you, Father. We give you glory, honor and praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We want to take our authority and dominion 
And uh, before we do that, I just want us to cover our lives with the blood of Jesus. Cover everything belonging to your integrity, your character, your reputation, your relationship with other people, your relationship with God. Hide it in the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus' name, let's pray. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we want to cover, oh Lord, our lives with the blood of Jesus. I cover my home, my family, my marriage, my children. Oh, Papa, I cover my family members, my integrity, my reputation, my character, my relationship with you, my relationship with other people, my neighborhood, my community. I hide everything in the precious word of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My church, oh Lord, you are anointing your grace upon my life. I hide all in the precious word of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I thank and I bless you, Father, as I go into war today, in Jesus' mighty name. I want us to now pray this morning. I want us to lift up unto God that every child that we are, that is born unto us within the body of Christ, in all over the world, that every child, whatsoever they may be going through, whatsoever they may be undertaking, any child, whatsoever challenges they are facing, that God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, He will send an angel on assignment. If we cannot be there for them, God will be there for them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let us pray. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you and we bring each and every child, O Lord, unto you this morning. We pray, O King of kings and Lord of lords, that every child called by the name of Jesus Christ, walking in, 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 in faith, by faith, in the mighty name of Jesus, calling themselves Christians, that every child, O Lord, will be protected, will be guided, will be hidden under the precious word of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That whatsoever they may be facing as children, that God will send an angel on assignment to help them through their times of challenges so that you will be continually glorified and they will, their testimonies in you will remain forever. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want us to now pray. Seal the mouth of every blood-sucking demon that wants to suck the blood, that wants to eat up our children, to finish their destinies before time. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let us pray. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank and we bless you, Lord. We give you glory, honor, and praise. We take our authority and we seal up the mouth of every blood-sucking demon that will want to eat up our children, their destinies, to affect them in any way, shape, or form. We nullify and neutralize the, the powers of the enemy with the fire of God and the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Decreeing and declaring that only the word of God and the word of God for their lives, the destinies of God for their lives, will remain and remain alone in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, Karabasanda. Thanks, Lord. Lord, we bless you, Lord. We honor you. We worship you, Lord. I want us to pray for the nations where we all find ourselves right now. Wherever it is, we want to pray for our nations. We want to pray for our leaderships. That God will continue to bless our leaders, bless our nations. That whatsoever we are doing, we will do it to the glory and honor of God's name. In the name of Jesus, let us pray. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we come before you this morning, O Lord. And we pray, O King of Kings and Lord of Lords, O Papa, for our various countries all over the world. I lift up queen and country. I lift up the royal family, O Lord. I lift up the prime minister, the government of this nation, the ministers, O Lord, the cabinet, the houses of lords, the house of parliament, that they will take decisions, O Most Heavenly Father, that will be for good of this nation, for the good of the people of this nation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and again, whatsoever they will do, O Lord, whatsoever the decisions they will take as governments in their various mayoral chambers all over the country, all the various mayors, all the various councils, that God they will work in the interest of the people. That it will continue to be all of you and none of them, O oh Lord. That God, when they hold their meetings, even if they don't call you, they don't invite you there. Spirit of the living God, you will go and represent us in those meetings. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, we bless and we glorify you, Father. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We just want to pray right now. I just want to thank God for our various church services that we'll be holding tomorrow. We want to commit them to God. We want to pray that God will be present in all the prayer, prayers that we'll have tomorrow. Everything we pray tomorrow, it will be for good. We'll not go to church in vain tomorrow for nothing in the name of Jesus. That as we go to service tomorrow, that God will be glorified in our various services. He will use the word of the men, men and women of God as oracles to speak and to preach the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you, Lord, and we pray, O oh Lord, for our various church services tomorrow. All the churches can be presented in prophetic life. All the churches can be presented, O oh Lord, that are over the prayer line, that are, that are watching, O oh Lord, over Periscope, over Facebook Live. We pray, O oh King of Kings and Lord of Lords, for our servants of God, who will minister God's word to us tomorrow. God, we don't want to go to church tomorrow in the same way and come away the same way. We pray that you put a word in their mouth for us. That when we go to church, we will receive a word tomorrow. A word, O oh Lord, a timely word that will change lives, that will transform souls, that will bring rest, O oh Lord, into our he- and healing like a balm into our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank and we bless your everlasting Father. We give you glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We want to pray for a brother in this, um, Europe, somewhere in Europe. He has a challenging problem. We will continue to pray for him until he tells me that God has answered his prayer. We want to lift him up unto God. He has challenges. A few years ago, we prayed for him when he was praying to get his stay and his status and everything regularized, and God answered us. And now, <coughs> he's facing some serious personal challenges because he wants to go into ministry. He wants to work for God. But he's facing some challenges that is affecting that particular work in God. We want to pray that God will reveal himself to him. God will speak in the midst of the storm for him so that he will understand where God wants him to go. In the name of Jesus, let us pray. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we lift up this brother unto you, O Lord. We pray, O King of kings and Lord of lords, that you will continue to bless him. Bless him, O Lord. Bless him, O King of kings and Lord of lords. As everything that he continues to do, O Lord, as it will be to the glory and honor of your holy name, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to lift up at this moment as I'm praying. The Spirit of the Lord has just reminded me of a sister that I also pray for all the time, one on one. I pray for her. Lift her up at this time. Naomi in Canada. I pray, O King of Kings and Lord of Lords, that you will be with her. Be with her and her family. Bless them and bless them indeed. Bless them supernaturally in all areas of their lives, whatsoever they are doing, O Lord. May it be for you, good and not for evil. May you be glorified, O Lord, in their lives at all times and in all places. I thank and I bless you for her life and continuing determination to serve you and to worship you. Her continuing faithfulness as she prays unto you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Ghost. We want to pray for one of our members who is providing the food today. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it. But he provided it. I want to lift him up unto God, Brother Peter. He has had to travel in making certain decisions, major changes in his life. We want to pray that the decisions, as he makes the decisions, and as he continues to be a part of the, what God is doing in his prophetic life, that God will continue to bless him, bless his family, bless his home, open doors and windows of provision for him. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank and we bless you, everlasting Father, for Brother Peter Rogers' life. We pray, O King of Kings and Lord of Lords, that you will continue to do new, wonderful, and beautiful things for him. So the glory and honor of your holy name, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. We want to now lift up, before we seal this time, we want to lift up any and everybody who is sick in body, in mind, or in spirit, whatsoever is their challenge, that God will be with them. And all the ends of the earth shall continue to know that God loves them, in the name of Jesus Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, oh Papa, we thank and bless you for everybody who is suffering in body, mind, or spirit, in one way or another. Sickness has come and is striking them. Oh Papa, we pray that you intervene on their behalf. And your healing balm of Gilead will work mightily on their behalf, Lord, and you will heal them. Oh, steadily, oh Lord, steadily over the over the days. Some, some might be healed speedily as we speak. You receive instant healing. Some will be gradual healing. But whatsoever the healing God, come, do it for them, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We thank and we bless the everlasting Father. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And so we want to pray as Jesus himself taught us. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom power the glory forever and ever amen the grace of our lord and savior jesus christ and the love of god and the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit rescue me and abide with us all now and forevermore amen surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen i believe god answers prayers i am sure god answers prayers i have proved god answers prayers glory to his name amen god bless and help us all for a wonderful week ahead in jesus name